Hello Aries, welcome, welcome, welcome to Fifth Element Throw. I'm here to do your monthly reading for April 2020 for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right, guys, tapping into the energy. First, I heard August, as in the month, August, as in the eighth month of the year, August. So, but I feel it as upcoming energy. Then after that, I heard don't mess with the law. But as I sit with that, I have a feeling of spiritual laws, karma, a judgment on the angelic realm, and being on the fortunate end of the will of fortune. So will of fortune energy. Now, will of fortune is very much a karmic will of fate. So um, you only get out what you put in. So if you've been putting out virtuous things, you'll get that back. And the reverse is true. Then making your life purpose your main priority. Keep up the great work. And I heard it just like that. Keep up the great work. When feeling doubt, follow your intuition. Then I heard safe, protected, supported by universal energies. Your path is well blessed. Now that you've manifested many blessings due to your devotion, dependability, and positivity, or no, it says no that you have manifested many blessings due to your devotion, your dependability, and your positivity. Then I was filled with Eight of Wands energy. So Eight of Wands is fast movement, quick communication, and or travel. So rapid advancement on your path is the feeling that I get. Then when you do what is right for your heart and soul, you automatically attract abundance. There is some sort of new line of study, no new field of study. Now this new skill will guide you and be useful in your future. So a skill that you'll use in your future. Then lastly, I was filled with Five of Cups energy. So Five of Cups is despair, sadness, loss. So let's go ahead and get our read. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of the highest love and light, you are welcome here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do a monthly reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for April 2020. Please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Thank you. All right, so the overall energy is going to come from Reawakening the Soul deck. One card for an overall read on the energy for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That's our card. It came out as I was shuffling. Transformation. So, transformation. Turning an old thing into a new. So, dying to an old to birth a new. Transformation. Overall energy of the read. So, a transformative time for Aries. Now, let's get our read from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. What do we have for Aries? April 2020. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for April 2020. There is resistance and I have cards out as I'm shuffling and I'll take the two that I... Oh, oh wow. That's a lot. We'll take all. I thought it was two, but they were buried. So let's see what we have. From the bottom. Unknown for everything in this transformative period. Choose wisely. So, card number seven. Now, I had a desire to look and then put it back down. So someone's doing something that they don't want somebody else to see. It's a feeling of something hidden okay like moon energy is what i get 
So choose wisely. Seven. Seven's about the journey to your higher self, to your God self. So this is the seven of cups in the traditional deck. This is about uh, options, illusions, and confusion in love. So a need to choose wisely. First card, thickest, heaviest energy of the read. Okay. Next from the bottom, unknown. Firm foundation. So four of, what is this? This is four of pentacles in this deck. So this is traditionally about holding on, a refusal to let go, miserliness. In this deck, it reads for firm foundation. Fours are about family, stability, home, and foundations. So choose wisely about this firm foundation. Next card, transformation. So this is serious death energy. We got double death cards, double transformation. So transformation Overall energy transformation. Card number 13. 13 reduces to a four. Fours, again, are about family, home, stability, and foundations. So two fours back to back. Double four energy. Okay? Next card, unknown. So triple four energy. So a huge period of transformative, foundational Things, foundations and achievement. Card number four, this is four of wands energy. So happy home, happy life, happy family, happy wife, happy, happy, happy is the traditional meaning of this card. It also represents an actual physical home. Next card, fertility, the empress. Card number three, threes are about connection and communication. <clears throat> excuse me, with the angelic realm. So, the empress is all of my queens in one. She's fertile. She can grow anything. She's used her life lessons to become a wise, powerful being. She solves all problems from within. She sits comfortably on her throne. So, there is this huge period of transformation, okay? Dying to an old way to live in a new way for this empress. I'm looking for the bottom of the deck. Okay, so the bottom of the deck is truth. Couldn't find the deck. Truth, a judgment. Card number 20. 20 reduces to a two. About a partnership and or alliance. Now, this is a balanced judgment made in truth. Okay? Okay. Mostly, sometimes, if you're dragging your butt, it could indicate a judgment made from the angelic realm. A sounding of a trumpet from the angelic realm. So, truth about this transformation and a need to choose wisely. Choose wisely about what? About this firm, firm foundation that you're building or attempting to build. Because traditionally, this is about letting go or holding on in the upright, an inability to let go, a refusal to choose wisely about refusing to let go or transform. There's something having to do with a home or a house and an empress. So let's go ahead and break this down. I have... Normally, this is about four of wands energy, but I feel like a brick and mortar home, like a physical home. So I'll start here with the clarification. Tell me about firm foundations or foundations and achievements in a home. Why is it here? Using traditional right or weight. So resistance throughout what is foundations and achievements here tell the story all right someone's in eight of swords energy so feeling like there's no way out but the answer is really in front of you it is a card of being in a self-imposed prison 
about this home. And I feel it as a physical home, a house, like tangible property. <clears throat> Unknown. So sitting on a strange but true proclamation with the Page of Wands. Now this is, yeah, someone needs to deliver a message about a home, about some property. And they're sitting on this and sitting on this strange but true proclamation keeps you trapped in, in your mind. You feel like there's no way out of the situation, but really the answer is to deliver this page of wands, to be the page of wands and deliver this message, okay? Then I have on masculine energy, so opposing forces here, two cards from the bottom, someone sitting in sadness and despair. This is the five of cups energy that I saw. So sadness and despair over this, message that there, I keep hearing message. It's a message about a home that they're needing to deliver. Now, and in hangman status, so contemplating, taking a pause to get clear guidance. Let's see if what else comes out. This is easy. The way to relieve this Eight of Swords feeling is to deliver this strange but true message. That gets you immediately out of this Five of Cups energy. And not only are you in the Five of Cups, but you're lingering there. This is what this Hangman energy tells me. I have one additional card coming as a challenge. Unknown. Challenge to have victory and success. Aha. So, we... I got the Wheel of Fortune in my tapping in. So I told you this whole spiel about karma and you have to be in right relationship and putting out the good things to get good things back. Well, when I see a Six of Wands as a challenge, that lets me know that you are teetering on being on the wrong side of this thing, okay? And this is why we have this card, Choose Wisely. You're needing to transform your indecision here. You're suffering. All you have to do is do what is right. Always. It'll always get you the best karma and the best outcome in the 3D. If you do what's right. So you know what's right. And instead of being in despair about it, just deliver this message. And this doesn't come as a challenge. It comes upright as victory and success. So for the card to show up means that the energy is here and available to you, but right now it's a challenge. Getting victory and success is a challenge in the current energy in the way that you're operating, okay? So this is why we, and this is an actual property, okay? I keep hearing it, so I'm gonna keep saying it. This is why this foundation, this is got to be for a very select few foundation and, and achievements here. So somebody, I'll break it down. So what I intuitively know, somebody is sitting on information about a property, okay? And this information is making the person that's sitting on it sick with worry, feeling like they're trapped. But they're not. It's a prison that of their own making. So I don't know where you fall in, in the story, but the way you release this Eight of Swords energy is to deliver the message about this home. Now, the Empress, I believe, is exterior. She's not holding a secret. That's not the Empress energy. So this Empress, I believe, is the energy that would be receiving the message about the home. Now, Aries, driving the energy in this read, no doubt about it, needs to choose wisely. Tell me about the Empress. Why is fertility here? That's why we have double death energy. And I just keep hearing karmic. So, a lesson to be learned here. Get your lessons and grow, okay? Don't sit in five of cups energy about something that you know you are supposed to do. 
So the Empress is enduring. There's a card of endurance here. Let's see what else? And that flipped over fast, which means she's strong. So not a option for her to give up. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. All of that comes as a challenge. So let's see what we have. Falling on this house, this home, this firm foundation, uh, this foundation and achievements. Uh, again, they want to say a actual home. Look, Ten of Cups. This Empress gets her Ten of Cups. This is emotional peak. This is the happiest that you'll ever be in the 3D realm. Okay? Emotional peak is what this card represents for this empress. But all of this comes as a challenge from the bottom. Ace of Wands. So this is a brand new passionate spark, a new creative endeavor, a new passionate beginning is a challenge. Manifesting is a challenge with the magician energy. Now, Anytime that you are challenged to manifest, there's something wrong. Because when you're in right relationship with the universe, manifestation is like that. Because the universe rewards you for your good works. So, a challenge to manifest. Last card, King of Pentacles. So, King of Pentacles is a very loyal person. I, I get father. Normally, I get husband. This is my card for husband. So, loyal, dependable, takes his job as husband and father seriously. So, this king of pentacles is having a hard time manifesting this happiness, this property to bring Ten of Cups energy to this Empress. But the Empress is enduring. This is the story we have. Bizarre. Yeah, this is our story. There's your confirmation with the phone. <clears throat> Thank you. Now, this King of Pentacles, who is having a hard time manifesting this creative new beginning, Okay, passionate new beginning. Unknown. It's off his path, not getting wish fulfillment with the star. Now, the star also represents Aquarius. This king of pentacles represents, uh, excuse me, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Doesn't have to be just the signs that they represent. So, because he can't manifest this new passionate beginning, it leaves him off his path. Anything else about this Empress? This is super interesting. No more cards. That is a story. Okay. Interesting. So let's go to Firm Foundations. Find out what this holding on is. Now, remember, we, we got triple four energy. So, triple foundational energy here in this read. But needing to choose wisely and make a wise, sound judgment based in truth about a transformation of sort. Death. And I said that the cards got super stiff, stiff, stiff. So this this is could be talking about a physical transition. They got stiff as a board, is what I heard. Firm foundation, tell the story. Thank you. Yep. So four of pentacles, this holding on, this miserliness, this refusal to let go. Now, there's a refusal to let go, but we have the knight of pentacles in the reverse. Now, in the upright, this is already the slowest moving knight in the deck. I call him slow but show. He's slow but show, for sure, 
because he devises a slow methodical plan to ensure victory. But this slow methodical plan, this slow methodical night isn't moving at all. So this is a feeling of double stuck energy, like a gridlocked energy. As a challenge to this home, to this foundation and achievements, there are secrets that lie under the cover with the moon. I told you I felt moon energy. Okay? So, somebody's hold. This is what this line reads. Somebody's dragging their butt so much slow, slow as molasses, holding on to a lie, needing to choose wisely and transform the situation about a home, about a family, about a property that belongs in some way to this empress and needs to come from a balanced, truthful place in doing this. If you cannot bring yourself to do it, then there'll be an angelic judgment made. This is why we have all of this death energy. Last pass for firm foundation. On feminine energy, unknown. Told you. Ten of Pentacles. I tell no lies. This is legacy. These are long standing foundational things that provide for you and future generations. This is someone's inheritance. Okay? Central to the issue. We got a queen of wands who's doing dirty, dark magic. Okay. I don't even want that to touch the empress's card. Put it here. Because she's in despair over a loss. And a fake to a cup contract. Karmic. I just heard. So. Let me ring the bell so we can get out of this energy. This is our story. All based in truth. Let's go a little deeper on the deck, under the deck, at the bottom of the deck, before I get a card of advice. So, this is all based in truth. Someone's needing to sacrifice. No longer stand the ground. It's in reverse. But, they're in mental conflict about it. About what? About taking this leap of faith. Starting from ground zero and a new beginning. Delaying an inevitable inevitable end with the universe. You can delay the universe, but it's an ending. And on top of that, this is why you have all of this death energy. Because this person knows. Okay? So, this is our reading. Let's get us a card of advice for navigating the energy. Part of advice is coming from the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. One card of advice for Aries. Sun, moon, and rising. Navigating energy in this grid. Aries, sun, moon, and rising. Navigating energies in this grid. One card, please. Aries. I got, I think that's, oh, it's two. A fault right on this house, this home. It falls right on foundations and achievements, but they come both as a challenge. I'm going to give us a little jump start and leave them as upright cards of advice. First card is, yep, the coyote, sacred trickster. So card number 12 breaks to a 13. Excuse me, a 12 breaks to a three. Threes are about connection and communication with the angelic realm. So the coyote is here. Yep, someone in their sacred trickster energy. 
and the wind. So there is forward movement in this, whether you do it or it's done by the divine. So the wind is here, card number 63. 63 breaks to a nine. Nines are about growth and expansion. I'll read both in their entirety. So part number 12 first. The coyote. The essence. The coyote is the symbol of the sacred trickster, the one who provides detours for growth and understanding by ensuring that things don't go as planned. The coyote brings the energy of divine deception to set you free from the shackles of that which doesn't serve you. Sometimes it appears that you'll get everything you want only to find the coyote brings you the opposite of what you hope for. The lessons offered by the coyote may at first appear confusing, but they are most sacred and always for your highest good. The invitation. If the coyote calls you, this is a time to pay special attention to detours and disappointments as they are true tests of faith. You have set your intentions and turned them over to great spirit. Yet you may find yourself lost in, and confused when it appears you're being led off course, off the path leading you to your most cherished dreams and desires. Remember this, Coyote is a sacred trickster and may be leading you into challenges to ensure that you are ready to handle what you've set in motion. Great growth and understanding come when Coyote calls your name, the medicine. Are you being seduced by what you think you desire? Could it be that the more superficial, sparkly, shiny aspect of your ambition led you in this moment? Perhaps you feel that in order to get what you desire, you have to compromise yourself, control others, or manipulate situations to ensure your goal is met. Coyote howls in the shadows to remind you that this may be a lesson too painful to learn. Beware the shallow waters right now. Something or someone might pretend to be deep, but that doesn't make them so. So no matter how seductive their superficial traits and how beautiful or sparkly they appear, all that glitters there will not turn up gold, no matter how many wishes you make to change that. I'll say it again. So all that glitters there will not turn up gold, no matter how many wishes you make to change that. 63. May look like, may seem like it's a good idea, but is it really a good idea? At what cost? So the wind is here. The essence. The symbol of the wind represents the element of air. Now, air is thought also. It rules communication, thought, song, and inspired ideas. It also signifies a change with qualities both positive and negative. The wind blows from each of the four directions, and there are different qualities bestowed by each. South carrying a new sense of trust, helping you gently begin to discard habits and parts of you that are no longer needed. West calling you to more introspection, to a willingness to make final decisions, to let go of attachment and ego desires. North, moving to bring you wisdom and strength. East, carrying clarity and vision and purpose. Whichever way the wind is blowing for you, the message which the wind whispers or shouts is a challenge. It may take courage at first to turn and face the wind, but you'll find exultation in moving toward it and receiving its lessons. The invitation. When the spirit of the wind comes calling, it's a sign of change. Perhaps you need to change your mind about something. Perhaps an old way of doing things has become automatic. And now that you've gained greater clarity, you can make a new choice. Regardless of what the change is, you can expect to be understood and to have clear communication with others at this time. Ideas are solid, solid and the shift that is being called for is in the highest good of all. Absolutely. And they want to end on this note. They want to take me back to my notes. Second thing that I heard. For first, something's happened in August about this situation. And I heard, don't mess with the law. And I told you that it was a feeling of spiritual or karmic laws. 
So whoever is in this coyote energy, don't mess with the law. That's your advice. This is our message, beautiful people. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the description box below. You'll find additional helpful information about this reading. Angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. Also, go follow on Instagram, IG. I'm at Fifth Element Row 777, seven days a week with the card of the day. So when you can't find me on YouTube, you'll find me on IG. Go follow. Until next month, my beautiful people, I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.